Hey everyone, I haven't done one of these in a few weeks, but this right here is uh, a crown based on a couple of K-pop videos that somebody sent me as a commission. And I didn't want to completely copy it, but it was based on uh, Kingdom's Black Crown, the song and the video. And so, uh, and another, another K-pop video by the same uh, band. And I wanted to try and combine the two. And the black crown is very black. Um, the other videos had a lot more uh, different influences in them. So I wanted to take the kind of white and silver and add that in. And, and, and the black crown also had some of that in there. So it was kind of a way to try and combine them. They, they had a big spike that came off of that. I didn't actually... Do that I kind of just mimicked that shape with the silver filigree at the top but this is a lot of filigree and a bracelet that's layered to give this effect so I'm going to show you kind of the basic um, shape of this so I got a bunch of filigree off of Amazon and the centerpiece is this piece right here and what I did is when I was laying this, I just uh, folded it right about here and then wired it on to the piece itself. So that was the first piece. Um, and then on the sides to give a little bit less height, I took this piece and I also folded it right about here and then put these on the sides like this. So you get the kind of shape of it, right? Like that. And then Finally, um, on the other side of that, I used these pieces. So this is also some height, but it's not as tall. So I kind of folded it a little bit and you got these two pieces on the side. She wanted, the commissioner wanted the crown to be um, a little bit more towards the back as well. So I found that I put one more of these pieces next to it. And then to fi finally finish it off, I used this small piece of filigree. And this is all part of like a $10 uh, filigree kit from Amazon. And so this just goes on the end right there. So this is all wired on. And I liked this, but I figured that I wanted some more height out here. So I took another piece of this same filigree that was in the center, and I put it um, in front of this piece so that it had bit more height involved and it's just wired and glued on to that back piece like that. So once this was all and the shape was all wired on, I spray painted it all black. So yes, it is this bronze color that you see on the tiara and then it's spray painted black so that we get this uh, black effect right here. So all of this black is these pieces of filigree. And then once I finished that, I got uh, some, this wax, which is a, this is a turquoise wax. I wanted to have a slightly bluish tint to it because I wanted those blue blacks. So I took this and I rubbed it on all of the higher edges of the black. So you can kind of see that shiny sparkle, like especially right here um, on the black where it comes through. So let me move this out of the way. So once that shape was laid out, I um, found, I was trying to find something that was um, a little bit more thicker wire that was that silver color. So what I found was some frog closures on Amazon. And these are these pieces right here. This is the other side of it. So these are just attached in three different spots on top right there. And it's done with a five minute epoxy. Um, and then, I actually found this bracelet on Amazon and there were four pieces like this. And then there was this center, sorry, this center piece right here, this little four piece. And so I used that as the center points. I was trying to find a necklace. I just didn't find one that I thought had the same bling effector of the the uh, piece that I was trying to mimic. So that is what I did. 
these are all glued on with a five minute epoxy. And when I was gluing on this piece, the uh, pieces actually have spikes. So I used these filigree spikes like this that I then flattened more so that it kind of made it more of a cone shape. And then when I was gluing these on, what I did was I glued it to this piece above it as well as to the base. So it's really sturdy on there. So that's just, these are just glued directly onto the silver and these are glued on. And then I still needed more bling. So I got these bezeled pieces from Amazon as well. And I have these in different colors. I've got this in blues and things like that. And these are actually supposed to be able to be sewn on with this bezel, but they also have a nice flat back so that you can actually just glue them on. So I still wanted that height. So this is just a piece of silver filigree that's attached. And then this piece is right there. So I'm gonna show you the back because I haven't finished it completely yet, but you can see the black spray paint on the sides. You can see these wires that are coming out that need to be trimmed. And these are the wiring of the pieces on the front. Each piece is wired to each other as well as wired to the base. And then there's a little bit of epoxy that's tightening it on there. So you can see here's some more wire that's coming through. So these all need to be trimmed and then covered. But it's a pretty simple, um, very layered piece. It's definitely got the height from the um, bronze filigree and then on top of that is all the details. Sure, I'm in the camera set. Let me show you the back one more time because I wasn't checking. Okay, so there's the back. There's the wire. You can see the little wired spots because it just adds more stability to it. And there you go. Also put a picture of um, the inspiration for this piece in the video as well. But I think it looks really great. And it's probably one of the heavier tiaras that I've made, but it will be held on with uh, bobby pins pretty easily. Thank you.